Here we have a new 2024 Cadillac XT5. This one comes in the premium luxury trim level in stellar black metallic. And then we have jet black leather seating surfaces. For the powertrain, we get a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine. That's made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. So not too many updates since this came out in 2017. But as we come to the front end here, we do get standard LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. So a good look there. I like the grill. I like that we don't have any black plastic except for this one strip right there. The rest of it looks extremely premium. Now down here we get 20 inch aluminum wheels. I like that look. Passive keyless entry on all four doors. We get a 14 speaker Bose performance series sound system. Power door lock controls are there. Memory seat functions. One touch automatic up and down windows for the front. Express down for the back. Power folding side mirrors with blind spot monitors. And then we do have our power mirror controls. We can pick a side and adjust right there. Power liftgate controls are there. We have an electronic parking brake. We also have a heads up display as part of our technology package. And then we do have a four way power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. The release for the hood is there. We're gonna check out the engine in a minute, but there's our power driver seat with power lumbar support. And then a nice stowaway with a 12 volt underneath the shifter there. But a big shout out to Cadillac and Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this XT5 today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But next, we're going to go ahead and check out this rear seat room. So not bad. My knees are touching the back of the seat, but it helps that you can lean the seat back a little bit. And I can show you that's what it looks like leaned back. That's what it looks like leaned up. And we do have the two bottle holders in the middle here. And down here, rear AC vents. And then a USB-C and a USB-A charge port down there. There's a view of the front. And with the UltraView sunroof, that's how the sunshade looks when the roof is not open. But let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. Fuel fillers there. And as we come around to the back end, we do get LED tail lamps. They don't flash or flicker like that. That's just how the camera's picking them up. But there's a look underneath the vehicle. Dual exhaust. Let's go ahead and open the lift gate. So a nice cargo tray here. Or cargo net, excuse me. And then a 12 volt over here. We can hit this switch or this latch and we can fold that rear seat flat on either side. And then underneath here, the spare tire is right in there. So everything's kind of a tight squeeze in here. So excuse me one second. There we go. Now as I come around to the rear passenger side, pretty easy to fold the seat up, just pull up, locks into place. And then you can also pull this to fold it flat from up here. Or again, you can lean it back a little further. Front passenger seat. Pretty similar adjustability as the driver's side. You get your power lumbar, power seat back, power seat bottom, lockable glove compartment here. And then as we come around to the front end, once again, we're just gonna take a quick look in the engine bay. And there's that 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat, check out some of the features we get there. So we do get, again, a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. We can heat that there. I'm just adjusting the seat so I can get a better view here. And then there's the horn sound there. We get this eight inch screen. We get AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth audio, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android auto compatibility. Hazards are there. And then we do have built-in navigation too. So we can go in there and set that up as well we can even see what the gas prices are around us so that's pretty neat we get a wi-fi hotspot as well parking sensors automatic park assist and the auto stock can be toggled right there and then if you want to change your language you have those three options here and then connect your phone pretty easy to do just find my cadillac on your bluetooth device in the bluetooth settings and then we have rear seat reminder as well as team driver here and then for the Climate controls, you can either use the screen here 
or use the buttons and knobs down here. So dual zone automatic climate, three stage heated front seats. You can cut the whole system off there. And there's the backup camera there, front camera there, curbside views are available. Now for the shifter, hit this button on the side, pull down for drive, tap for manual, pull up for neutral, hit that button again, pull all the way up for reverse, press P for park. The bottom holders are here, we can stow that away here. The volume knob is here, we can click there to mute. Then we have shortcuts for some of the features, including the nav, audio, phone, and then we can use this knob to go through the actual system on the screen, if you don't want to use the touch screen. And then we do have three drive modes, tour, sport, and then snow and ice. A wireless charging pad there in the middle. And then the center console cubby space has a little tray we can remove. And then we have the SD card reader for the navigation, a USB-C and a USB-A input there. Rear camera mirror, we can toggle there. Universal home remote, sunroof controls. And then we can tilt or slide the roof back. So that's one touch there. Hit it a second time, it'll go all the way behind the glass. There's a view of the back seat from up here. And then vanity mirror is there. Back to the steering wheel. Blinkers are there, headlamps, we can toggle those on or off. And then you have automatic high beams you can toggle there. And then we can turn the high beams on or off or flash there manually. Over here we have rain, rain sense wiper. So one time off, auto, low, high. We can adjust the auto sensitivity here and the rear wiper can be adjusted here. Push back for that rear wiper fluid, pull up for the front wiper fluid. Back to the steering wheel, mute, voice recognition, cancel for the cruise, turn that cruise on. And then we can set the speed there for collision alert gap adjust, lane keeping system with lane departure, that heated steering wheel toggle, and then we can go through our radio station favorites or our track list depending on what audio source we're in. Volume can be adjusted there. And then we can use these four arrows to go through the gauge cluster. And if you wanna change your units here, all you have to do is hit that and then it's that easy to do. Heads up display is here. It's a quick look at that. And then push button start. Here's the key fob with remote start. 